Now, the day also marked a new era for the Jamaica Constabulary Force with the arrival of its freshly appointed commissioner, Dr. Kevin Blake, who stepped into the role after over 22 years of diverse service within the force. Addressing his audience at the change of command ceremony, Dr. Blake says the force now benefits from unprecedented resources and shares his vision to further shape the JCF into a beacon of posit positivity and progress. Here's more from Natalia Clark. I am present and I'm on time. I'm here to serve and I'm here to lead. Man of the moment. New top cop, Dr. Kevin Blake. After joining the Jamaica Constabulary Force as an assistant superintendent in 2002, he steadily climbed ranks to become assistant commissioner in 2013 and then deputy commissioner in 2020. Four years later, effective March 19, 2024, he serves as commissioner of police. I am prepared and I'm ready to bring the best of my intellect, my training, my personal discipline, and emotional intelligence to lead this Jamaica Constabulary Force to be the next best edition of itself. Dr. Blake holds a PhD in Sustainable Development and as DCP, served as the JCF's Commander of Force Development and Logistics. He is hailed as a man of many hats who amalgamated his skills to aid in the JCF attainment of ISO 9001 certification. This ensures a quality management system to enhance service standards, standardized procedures, and integrate technology for improved efficiency and service delivery. Speaking at the change of command ceremony on Monday, he notes a top priority is slaying the crime monster and dismantling gangs. We will isolate these criminals. We will disrupt criminal gangs. We will pursue, capture, and build airtight cases for the conviction of the producers, the facilitators, and the sympathizers of crimes whose only interest and desire is to cause hurt, mayhem, and destruction. This, he assures, will be accomplished by continuing efforts to modernize the force and by nurturing relationships with the people. Under my watch, unprecedented programs will be launched to win the hearts and minds of communities across Jamaica, to restore the JCF as the rightful legal guardians of Jamaica, providing trusted and reliable security services. The chief constable, who now heads the nearly 14,000 strong, 152 year old force, says his predecessor, Major General Anthony Anderson, has left an indelible mark on the force, adding the foundations laid will be built upon. Jamaica deserves a police force that is responsive, a force that is modernized, and on par with the best law enforcement agencies in the world. I'm Natalia Clark for CVM News.